December 21st. So December 21st. Yeah. No, no, right now. Gasto just said in fact, I'm going to let him say it. He's going to declare it now. Yeah. So at that time, he said, yeah. Festival Sesto Sol. And people again were saying, ah, no, go. <laughs> Festival Sesto Sol. Hey, Festival Sesto Sol. Yeah. 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 You're talking about those of us that out of obligation, out of necessity, we have to come up and develop our own forum, our own publications, okay? And at that time, again, I met a wonderful, wonderful youngster, Boeing. Uh, we were together uh, with Jorge Gonzalez. Jorge Gonzalez, one of, one of the greatest, uh, I am Joaquin, Jorge. Yeah. We went, we all met him. Uh, and I saw this youngster there, what time did you hear this event? I was 12 years old. <laughs> when we went, we decided we were going to take over the, 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 the Denver courthouse. <laughs> Just to show all these poems, we how crazy we went to take over. And this youngster there, I got off. We got the Mexican, uh, the, the Mexican flag. We took down the American flag, the US flag. Started and we put up the Mexican flag. And there was Gatito, they put it up in Denver. The first time that ever ever saw that, there we were all there, holding hands around it, while I got to put up the flag, and Corky Gonzaga said, hombre, que locura. <laughs> then later again, many years later, the same youngster, uh, we went to help liberate Nicaragua with our arms and hands. Yeah. Okay, so I want to please give it up to one of the founders. If it wasn't for Alejandro, many of us had all this great vision and the working, the poetry, but hey, uh, to have that kind of stamina, to have that kind of commitment. We had this old printing press that we used to carry around at home, foggy man, we have to do it by hand. Gatito was the one that was, all these publications you see, he was the one that helped put it together, edit it, actually plan it, and then physically put it out and come back and say, here it is, done. You know, printed, got it to the printer. This brother is one of the reasons that we have these publications. Alejandro Murguia and Gato. Because the heat is on the mission. Yeah. So the new mission has to be the free mission. Yeah. That's the new mission. And what a vision to free the mission. Yeah. So that's the mission. That's the vision. Free the mission. Ho! It's a great honor and privilege to be sharing uh, the stage again with uh, my compadre Roberto, Francisco, Lavacha, Janice, Devora, uh, Lorna, all these, Nina, <clears throat> all these great poets that we've been uh, struggling to write poetry for, so for decades uh, together. And some of the new poets also that are in the audience, uh, 
I want to acknowledge like Leticia and Tomas Riley and um, all of you as well. That's what we do now. We're all poets. We address everyone as poeta from now on. <laughs> so uh, I'm probably going to read one, one more poem, but <clears throat> I want to dedicate uh, my own reading tonight to uh, Hugo Chavez. <clears throat> I think one of the great leaders of the first uh, part of the 21st century who showed us and is showing us how to be Latin Americans independent of imperialism or any other ism or any other influence but our own selves. And our own lives. At the same time, I want to uh, to uh, aim, aim this next poem <clears throat> to people like, you know, Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> and all these other politicos running around, confusing people, spreading war and violence and hate and intolerance <clears throat> everywhere. Um, all, the, all, those, all those pig fuckers in the national <laughs> Did I just use the word pig fucker? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably going to get me arrested by the American Taliban religious military industrial complex. <laughs> so if I don't show up at my next reading, <laughs> you know where I'm going to be? <laughs> I'm going to be in Cuba. <laughs> Beautiful tropical island, that's the good part. The bad part is that it's going to be in Guantanamo. <laughs> in fact, I think they're coming for me. <laughs> and Adrian Adi is also another great poet. So let me read this poem then for people like, like uh, Mid. <laughs> you know something nobody has pointed out? That it seems to me, because the Mormons had this big colony in Mexico for a long time, that Mitt Romney's father is born in Mexico, which makes Mitt Romney the first Latino candidate for president. <laughs> You know what I always say, you're, you're, you're either a little bit Jewish or a little bit Mexican. <laughs> now, I, I, I suspect, where's the birthers now? I don't know if Nate is going to denounce his Mexicanness. <clears throat> so, this is for those guys. And they know who they are. If I go down, this one is for every motherfucker that tried to screw me. For every fat banker's ass that tried to ride me. For every hobnailed booted Nazi that tried to crush me. This one's for you, and it ain't no dud, dude. <laughs> this goes out to the political hypocrite hemorrhoid of society. For the righteous child rapists in the pulpit for the blood-sucking multinational digging their fangs into my groin. For the dealer doper rip-off artists injecting poisonous mercury into my neighborhood. This one's for you, and I'm writing it with care. For the skull-eyed goon of every hamlet and backwater outpost on this planet. For the helmeted viper with bayonet to a woman's throat for the ballless cabron who set fire to my house with napalm, for every fascist, racist punk who ever hurled a rock through a window, for the Wall Street speculator who put a price on dreams, yes, you know who you are. This poem fits you like a leather collar. For every hijo de la gran puta who ever asked for my green card, my ID card, my passport, my registration, my driver's license, my insurance, my fees. 
for every suit and tie bastard who's after me to pay up, for the tax collector, bill collector, overdue bill collector, for the courts and all their vicious mayhem, for the sheriffs, the judges, and the juries who sentence me without possibility of life. For all of them, and at the same time, it's a quarter past three in the morning. The wind is howling up a storm on Market Street. It's bitter out here, and no chump mayor is going to tell me it ain't so. But I'll survive this night, I swear. And as for those pig fuckers grinning up in their privileged lofts, along with all the rest who would like to see me eat shit, let me tell you this. If I go down, even on my knees, I'll ram my fist two feet up your arse. <laughs> Energy, talent, Francisco Alarcón. Right. 